In a pivot table, if you have a date field, you can use that field to filter by one or more dates and show the results for that time period. You can use check boxes to mark the dates or remove check marks for dates you don't want to see. You can also select a specific date range. And the other option is a dynamic date range, which will change as time passes. So the first one we'll look at is check boxes. In our pivot table, in the row labels area, we have a date field and a category. If I click the drop down arrow in the row lab labels heading, I can see a checkbox for every date that I have in my pivot table. So I can remove a couple of check marks, or I can select all the dates. I can unselect and just check the couple that I do want to see. When I click OK, I see only those dates results in the pivot table. To clear the filter, if we go back to the heading, we can see a filter symbol there now. I can click and clear that filter. So those are check boxes. If I want to see a specific date range, I can go back to that drop down and go to date filters. So at the top, we can choose equals, which would let us select one date or anything before or after a specific date. And we'll look at between. And in here, we can put a start date. We can type or click the pop-up calendar. So I'll pick January 1st as the start date and March 1st as the end date. It will include both the start and end date and any dates in between. When I click OK, I can see January, February, and March dates. So to clear those, I'd go back and clear the filter. And the third filter type is a dynamic date filter. So if I go back to the row labels, go to date filters, and I'll go down and I can see a variety of options. Anything from things that are in there for tomorrow, this week, last month, any of these are dynamic date ranges. So if I pick next month, I can see the orders that are lined up for next month. And if I open this in June, then it would show July orders because that is what would be happening in the next month from June. For the date filters, if I move a date filter, this is filtered dynamically, and if I move that order date up into the report filter area, it loses any filtering. So the order date now shows all the orders. The only type of filtering that's available for a date field in the report filter area is the checkboxes. So if I select a couple of dates there and click OK, that will show just those two dates. And I can move filters down into the row label area and those dates will stick. But only those checkbox types are used up in the report filter area. So dynamic or date ranges filters will be lost if you move them into the report filter area.